We are going in for the three minutes. Jesus Ramirez, yeah. our remaining uh, standing champion yeah. here. So, so my tip is going to show everybody in this room how to composite uh, an image together, something that we all want to do when we bring Photoshop in. What I, like, what I usually like doing in Photoshop is just take a tool and make it do something that's not intended. Uh, to make it do something that it wasn't built for. So the tool that I'm gonna show you guys, you probably have seen before, it's the auto blend layers, which allows you to take um, images and blend them together to create a panorama. That's not the tip, I just want you to uh, show you how, how that, this tool usually That's is just a used. bonus. So if you go into auto align layers, you can just, whoops, that's not what I wanted. Auto blend layers, auto blend layers, panorama, make sure that seamless tones and colors are selected, that way we remove the seams, the tones match, and we create a panorama. We all probably have seen that before. But now that we have that knowledge, we can learn how to composite things together and make really, really uh, funny <laughs> composites. So what I'm gonna do to show, oh, by the way, if you see that, we lost the seams, everything is great, we have one image. So I'm gonna use that technology to give our good friend Colin Smith uh, a makeover. Oh, wow. So that's our, wow. our good friend Colin Smith from Photoshop Cafe. <laughs> and um, he needs a new uh, Tinder profile. So what Whoa. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna um, put his wow. face keep, on keep that PG, body man. using that PG. same technique. And watch how the skin tones and everything is going to match really, really easy. I just wanna know how you got David's high school photo <laughs> oh. for, uh, to use for this demo. It's on Facebook. <laughs> so I'm just gonna match his face to the models. I'm gonna bring it back up and uh, the opacity. So I'm just gonna use the lasso tool and I'm just gonna Cut his face, like so. So it just made a... This is so creepy. <laughs> Whoops. And a little exciting. <laughs> so now we have just the face mask, right? So all I'm gonna do now is just uh, load the selection, uh, the, the pixels of the layers of selection. I'm gonna contract it, select, uh, modify, contract. I'm gonna make it about, I don't know, three pixels smaller. And then I'm just gonna hit the delete key. So now we have a hole. Ah! And there's Colin's face, and I'm just gonna select both layers and go into um, edit, auto blend layers, and with that same technology, we're gonna match the tones and uh, seams of the image, and we're gonna have a face swap. So you can put your face in anybody's photo, in a movie poster, in a movie still, whatever you want, and boom, there it is. Wow. <laughs> oh. With 30 seconds to spare. <laughs> Edwin, I'm not done. You said 30 seconds? You got 30 seconds. Oh, you got 30 seconds. So since now, well, he, now he, you have 20 seconds. He looks much, much better on his uh, profile picture, so we can go into filter, liquefy, and you know, when you have it, uh, why is it doing that? Do, we have, do I have something selected? I don't know. Mm -hmm. I'll just duplicate it. We'll see what happens. Filter. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Uh this is what I get for being cocky. I should just yeah, pop it out You should have just gone out while you were I can you're go into the face tool, and I can give him a smile, just so he smiles a little, a little bit more. <laughs> So now he's what? happier because he has six packs. There we go. Mr. Jesus Ramirez from the Photoshop <laughs> Training Channel.